Hi everyone, welcome to Loving Life, to my weight loss journey Sundays. And today I want to talk about body positivity. OMG, how many things can I talk about it? Oh my God, it's just mind blowing. The bottom line, and I will make it, I will try to make it very short. I love every day what I'm seeing in the mirror. Regardless what people think, I do love what I'm seeing in the mirror. I love my body. I'm thankful for my body. But I know so many beautiful women, all sizes, that don't like it. And I know how hard it is and how strong can be struggle to love yourself we is a women uh, and a lot of men by the way i'm not discriminating here at all a lot of men feel the same we used to okay men should be all you know six packs and all beautiful and you know energetic blah 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 and women should to be this size this size this uh, you know blue eyes white and etc everything that but you know blue eyes white Caucasian woman and uh, certain size, certain education level, certain, you know, looks and etc. It's not okay to be. You know what? Let's step out of this box a little bit for one second. And um, you know me as very out of the box person which hates, per hates those boxes. I even have six feet painting that you know about those boxes and uh, everyone that try and get like I really really hate those boxes uh, I think that we don't have enough role models that they are confident and I mean men and female men a little bit better female a little bit less confident in their own body and I mean not body like and even even um, even the most beautiful women, I mean, slim, uh, slim, beautiful, that you, you know, all of us envy of them, they tell me that they told me one thing that if you're a model, that everything around you only, only, only weighs on your looks. And they're very insecure people. And I think to myself, oh my God, like, why would we be there? What would we? choose to be in this state of uh, less than less than perfect less than you know we, we, we're trying to be perfect in everyone with each other, which is impossible we are not perfect being beings as we are and um, i love you as you are it doesn't matter what size you are my weight loss journey it's not about fit this box oh no it's about okay today I have um, knee problems or knee. I need to move this and you know what? It's my reasons. It doesn't mean that if you want to fit to some kind of box, it's bad. No, 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 it's not. But it needs to be your choice. And here what I'm thinking, a lot of time we, they, like society took our choice from us. It's okay to be whatever we want to be. If you, we want to be slim, it's okay. If we want to be you know, sportive, it's okay. If we don't want to be sportive, it's okay as well. If we want to eat another cake, it's okay. I'm not contra introduction to a lot of, you know, healthy gurus, but I'm, I'm not a healthy guru. I'm not a health freak, I'm not a sport freak. No, I'm not. I am what I am, and I think I respect every woman and every person for this matter, woman and person for this matter, that every man for this matter, that absolutely okay for being who they are. We all deserve love. And uh, this is another thing. In, uh, in our minds, at least in my mind, it was if I'm not that, that, and that, I'm not deserving of love. Especially, you know, where you're gay and you are out of the box and you are, you know, big woman. It's always, okay, I'm not deserving of love because I'm a gay. I'm not deserving of love because I am a woman. Because I'm this size woman, I mean. Uh, because of this and because of that. And I come to term very early in my life that it's not true. Everyone deserve, deserves love. You deserve love, whatever you like, as you are. Everyone deserves to be loved. As you are, 
exactly as you are. I mean, it doesn't matter. You need, you don't need to change in order to be loved or in order to be appreciated. Oh no, you need to be exactly what you are. If you choose to change, it's up to, it's your choice, it's your journey. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, to communicate. I hope I can, I, I do it successfully. I know that English is not my f absolutely first language, but I think it's so important, so damn important. And I will talk more about, you know, body positivity. It must be your choice. Not society choice, not anyone else choice. The change must be your, if you like the change. But if even if you don't like the change, it's okay. And it's okay to be who you are, like you are, you know? I don't like those gurus who are shaming others. Yes, I know that, the, you know, most of our, especially heavier women, we know that it's not healthy to be, you know, overweight. But if you're good with it and it's your choice, I respect you for it, for this. I love you for this. Like it doesn't matter to me. If but if you want to change, let's do it together and let's let's find our people. So I hope I could communicate this very well. I really do hope. Yes, please. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me please what you think about yourself about your insecurities. Oh, I do have my insecurities, trust me, and I will talk about my insecurities in different video. But I want to empower, empower ourselves, empower myself and you just to be yourself, you know, you to be yourself. Don't go to those boxes that there, that there are not you. You know, because even, even I have this box, okay, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm that, so I should be like this, and I, and, you know, it's, especially in earlier life, like, about 10 years ago, it was like, okay, if I'm this, if I'm that, and if I'm that, no, I can be this, this, that, and that, and I can choose whatever I like from all the boxes that we have here. So, yeah, I really love you. Tell me your journey, tell me about your body positivity experience or body negativity experiences, and... I want to tell you no one, no one but you can tell you who can tell you who you are. So be yourself, you love yourself. I love you. I respect you for being courageous and being for being yourself because it's very hard. Everyone wants us to be something else. And I think I will finish for today. And I could talk and talk and talk for hours now. I will do another video with this topic. So thank you so much for being here. I love you, love you, love you, all of you. I really do love your all your input in my um, description box. I really read all of the... I'm trying to answer all of my, you know, people that uh, write me comments, all of my comments. We're going through it and trust me, it's very helpful to me and I hope to empower each other. By the way, I forgot to mention that one of the things that really helped me is taking a lot of selfies and uh, my own pictures. I know if I had one dollar per each time I can hear a woman told me that they had their picture, oh my God, I would be billionaire by now. But yes, take your pictures, find your beautiful spot. We are all beautiful. And you see, I'm not always using makeup. Even though before I was thinking that only makeup, like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking pretty only with makeup, but it's not true. I love my photos even though uh, I'm not always using makeup. I hope you will do the same, take a lot of pictures, and if you're following me on uh, Twitter or um, Facebook or, um, or Instagram, hashtag your photos with loving life. Victoria and it will be awesome to showcase uh, yourself and uh, to me and I will see you and you will see me and it will be fun to empower each other. Love you all. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye.